South Korea, 150 places to go. Where are we going today? Let's see. Ooh, Suwon. Hey, we made a bingo. Suwon, let's go. Coming up, a beautiful historical fortress, a train being pulled by a car. We play a game. Where's Ryan? An elephant in heels? A gorgeous lake park. And I ride an electric bike and definitely don't almost crash into four people. I've been to Suwon three times and the common theme that I've noticed is that Suwon has very pretty women. And absolute nutcases. And sometimes they're the same people. I've been there three times and all three times I've met crazy people. People were just following me around like, hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you doing? So I decided not to make a video, <laughs> but hey. Fourth time's the charm, right? Here in Korea, we just started Changma, which is the rainy season. So basically it's like British weather for a few weeks. Because of that, I couldn't go on a trip on the weekend and I actually had to go after work. To make that possible, I had to really plan this trip on my iPad while I was on the train. And I ended up smashing my iPad. No! I'm just joking with you. I already smashed it by using it as a coffee table. I was feeling stress and pressure from having to plan so much on the way. I will call it Stresher. Okay, making up words is stupid. Anyway, our destination is Suwon Hwasong Fortress. Here it is in all its glory. There's a really cool difference between the modern city over there and the old fortress over here. When I went to Suwon last time, I was looking around for the fortress because I thought that was a palace. I thought that a fortress was like a kind of castle. So I was looking around everywhere like, where's the palace? Where's the palace? Where's the palace? So I had to go on Google and type, what is a fortress? And it turns out that a fortress is just anything that can protect a city and even the city itself. So in Suwon's case, the fortress is the wall going around the whole perimeter of the city. This fortress surrounds the city of Suwon. So we can walk around it for a really long time. Western Bastion 1. This was designed to attack approaching enemies. Oh, so people would be up here attacking people. That's pretty cool. Who can we see? Oh, old lady, it's not your lucky day. I do really love this disparity between the old fortress and the new town. Oh, look over here. Over here is this cool train. I like how it's being pulled by just a regular car. This is so steep, I can't walk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Has that been there the whole time? Oh my God. This place is so fancy. You can tell it's steeped in so much history. Even the shops down the street look really nice. Now let's walk inside here. Carefully. Ooh. This is slightly low. So this is what it looks like inside. There's a place to sit down over here, but you have to remove your shoes if you want to go there. I hope you don't have to remove your shoes here because, uh oh. Please take a detour and take off your shoes before entering. Okay, let's take a detour. Love the fancy designs, so nice. And oh, just like everything in Korea, it's under construction. If you visit Korea or if you live in Korea, that's something that you will know is absolutely true that pretty much everything is under construction at all times. And as soon as one thing gets finished, the thing next to it will be under construction. So it's really difficult to take nice pictures and nice videos of a, a place because there's always something under construction in the place. Hmm, let's see, when is it finished? June 13th to October 10th, 120 days. Okay, they're clearly doing a lot of work on this, which is a real shame because I've been here a few times and it's a really nice place to walk. You know what maybe we can do is we can't walk here. Maybe we can fly over here. Watching this drone footage, let's play a game of Where's Ryan? Can you see him?
Seeing how we couldn't walk along the fortress wall, let's go take a look at some cafes. There's this cafe that looks like Morocco. Or there's the Good Buddy Cute Store. Like, I need to buy any more cuteness. I've got enough, thank you. I actually went into the cuteness store and said how I think I've got a bit too much cuteness. And the worker said, it's cute that you think that. So that was nice. I will be born of bread, make cookies and dessert. Finally, my dream of getting a million Instagram likes could be coming true by taking a picture in front of this building site. These benches are really cool because they're like environmentally friendly because they plant things inside like this giant screw plant. I've walked down this road every time I came to Suwon before and there's a real bicycle theme going on with this road. See if you can spot the bicycles. Not that one, that's just someone's bike and not those ones, but like this. Look at that, that's a pretty cool bench, isn't it? Oh, here we go, more bikes. That one would be me. If we follow this plant tunnel, we actually do come to a palace, but it's not part of the fortress. So confusing. So here we go, here's an actual palace. An actual palace behind this gate. But you have to pay to get in and I'm poor, so we're not doing that. I like how even these directions have the Hanok style roof. This is a cool building, I like the grass up the side of it. That's something I never thought I would say. Aha, I found a slither of shade on this bench. Well, this part of me is nice and cool. Sorry, this part. I've rented a bike again, and this one's an electric bike. So when I pedal, it just goes. This is amazing. Oh my God. So I just pedal a little bit and it just starts flying. It's like the bike I rode in Jejudo. It's so much easier than walking. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just like last week, I once again rode the bike really well and definitely didn't almost crash into four people. I expected the reservoir. I didn't expect the big street of restaurants. That's pretty nice. I wonder what that building is over there. It's also on this. Let's fly over and see what it is. Where's Ryan? Over here we have an upside down elephant wearing pink high heels for some reason. Oh, no high heels allowed on this escalator. Between you and me, I've already pushed the button and spun the wheel and we are going somewhere really nice that features a world record, maybe Asian record, some kind of record landmark that I'm really, really excited to see. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please push the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let anybody you want know about the series if you think they'd be interested in following along. And I'll see you next time for another episode of Korea Random Travel. <laughs>